stuff is fine. Hey, got my mind racing all night. Yes. Mm, it's already on. What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica, and we are down here, girl. Go, girl. It is a Monday. I hope everybody's doing well. We got our water. We got our coffee. We got our reefer. We got everything we need to go on this journey. I had to do a new um, set of lashes this, well, this morning. I just did them like this morning. But this one is like I I didn't I didn't I didn't do the same map as you can tell I can do I didn't do the same map over here I put a longer ones over here I should have put a longer one over here I put a fourteen right here and I put a sixteen right here you see you could tell you see how it's a little thicker but yeah I did them real quick this morning I do honey ever since the girls on TikTok shout out to the the little girls on TikTok the young divas on TikTok. Teaching the girls how to do their DIY eyelashes because I used to use strips. I used to use strips. I think the one of like one of the last pair of strips that I bought were from um, were from um, Jenna Lyons line. Unseen, oh, seen. What is it called? Unseen. I think it's called. I can't remember the name of it. I have. I bought two pairs of lashes from her, and I have one pair in there that I still have that I wore like once and they were very they're very very natural looking lashes and we know that Jenna has a a condition I don't know if it's I don't think it's autoimmune but it's a condition that she has where she doesn't have like her teeth like she has dentures all her eyelashes she doesn't have any eyelashes I think I don't think she has like body hair or something like that I can't remember what the condition was I guess we can look it up right um uh Jenna oops Jenna, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know that you stop by. Um, this weekend, I watched three movies, actually, this weekend. I watched uh, Maxine, um, and that is with, I didn't know Shia LaBeouf was married and had a baby. Girl, y'all just, I was like, her name is Mia Roth. She's a funny looking girl, but she's cute. She's a funny looking girl, but she's cute. Maxine is a scary movie about a adult film star who turns into a horror movie star and she's being um, stalked by someone. And uh, it's, it's good. It's only an hour and 40 something minutes. It's a, um, what, a, what area 42? What's the name of that? Um, 24? What's A24? <laughs> area 42, girl, I don't know. Uh, A24 production. You know, they're always weird. Um, Jenna Lyons has inconstantia pigmenti, inconstantia, incontinentia pigmenti. Well, it sounds like inco inconsistency in pigment. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. It's a rare genetic disorder that affects the skin, hair, and teeth. Jenna Lyons has scarred and hyperpigmented skin, hyperpigmented skin, especially behind her knees and under her arms. She has bald spots and her hair falls out in patches and she has malformed teeth and wears dentures. Yep. And so she created that, eye, those eyelashes, that eyelash line um, for, you know, because she wears eyelashes because her um, uh, eyelash, she doesn't have any eyelashes. So we love um, that. Don't, don't you love that? Like something that she needed, she created it. So, but also created it for other people. Instead of just going out and getting some, you know, you know, finding a, a person who does lashes and continuing, but no, I'm going to, I'm going to figure out how to make some money off of this. I know that's right. So I think I slept wrong. So I saw Maxine, it's on Max. And then I watched, um, woman of the woman of the hour. That is about Rodney Alpa Alpaca out, out, what's his name? <sighs> Rodney, hold on, Rodney Alcala, Rodney Alcala, he is a serial killer. It's about him. His birthday is the day before mine. <laughs> no, they'd be telling you mutable signs, mutable signs, um, Virgo, 
um, Sagittarius, who else? Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, and Sagittarius. Those are your highest, your, the, the, the most known serial killers are, they fall within those four, those four signs. And I figure like mutable signs because we're able to adapt to situations. We're able to blend into situations. We're able to make people feel comfortable and stuff like, you know, like that. So I, I could see how that can, there's a certain um, level of the way that you can speak to somebody. I don't know. It's just, it's just how we are. I don't know. But a lot of the crimes of passion, ooh, let me go add some more creamer to this. A lot of the crimes of passion are by water signs, the highly emotional Pisces. I said I was going to remember what I watched so I can tell y'all what I watched. I want to put my favorite pillow right here. So it was. Woman of the Hour. Maxine and something else. Damn it, I can't remember. Now I'm not, now I'm, I'm like a little annoyed because I said I was going to remember and I can't remember what I watched. It was, was it on Netflix? Woman of the Hour. I can't remember, girl. I really, I can't remember what I watched. It was another scary movie. And I was like, why are you watching all these scary, like true crime type movies? The, the Maxine wasn't a true story, but it was set in Hollywood in the eighties and which was really cool. Just, I, we love that. Oh my God. So much better. I don't, I act like I didn't add any, whatchamacallit to that. Um, the signs, the mutable signs and the crimes of passion, stuff like that. Yeah. Crimes of passion are usually like you get a lot of water signs in the crime of, in the crimes of passion. A lot of serial killers are like mutable signs. Um, yeah. Yeah. Go and look like at the lit, even the, from the, the male and the female serial killers, they like the majority of them are mutable signs. It's, it's wild when you think about it. But like I said, I feel like that's the reason why, because we're able to like adapt real quick and you know, like, you know, he was, he was taking pictures. That's how he got it. The last girl. So this is a true story. So the, the one, the uh, woman of the hour is a true story. And what the, the crazy thing about Rodney Alcala was that he went on the dating game in 1978, I believe he went on the dating game. And so they, you know, this is, this was that part of him his, on his, whatever killing spree, I guess you want to call it. So he had, he, um, he gets women by like, he starts taking pictures, taking pictures, taking pictures. And he's like, Oh, can I take your picture? I let's take, I'm gonna take you out. And he took this girl to Joshua tree. Um, and she was like a runaway something. She was a runaway. She was on the street and she's in his car. They're smoking reef and stuff like that. He, he was like, it's up here. And she was like, dang, it's far. And I'm thinking in my head, like, girl, you don't think nothing's wrong. Like, I don't know. But she walks up this hill with him. Then he ends up assaulting her. And then when she wakes up, her legs are tied. Her arms are tied. Um, her face is all messed up and stuff like that. And she like, she's laying there, there like that. And then she looks over at him and he's like in his hands, like on his stomach, in his hands, crying, sound like he's praying. Right. And then she goes, Hey, um, seems like we had a real rough night last night. And then she was like, can you undo these so we can, so we can leave? I said, girl, I said, girl, she was so smart. She was a teenager. She was so smart. And, and she was, he was like, Are, I'm sorry. I heard you. She was like, I'm okay. Everything's fine. Girl, he stopped. They were in the car and you could see her face. Whoever was the actress for that. She was so good. She was in the car. They walked back to the car. He untied her and everything. They walk back to the car. They get in the car. They come to a four way stop and there's a man in a van. And she's looking at the man, but she just has this blank look on her face. And she's just like, like, like she's gone. And then she like, she looks over at the man and then she looks straight ahead and then the man goes. So then he's like, I guess that was his, like, I guess, test to see if she was going to try to scream or something like that. 
it was so bad. Part of the story, before I go back to that, part of the story was when the girl saw him on, they they down here to drop off Megan Good's rehabilitation center. They picking them up. They bringing them to you, Megan. Uh, <laughs> and the rest of y'all down there at the landfill waiting for your niggas and his, and his garbage juice to come. One of the parts was that when they were on the dating game, a woman in the audience recognized him and she, she like got, she got like flustered and she got off stage and she went and she was like asking so many men to help. And then before that, her boyfriend, she like, she went out to her car cause she was flustered. She saw this guy that had been probably the suspect in her friends R and M. Okay. And she goes outside, her boyfriend goes outside, he gets in the car, he goes, are you okay? And she was like, the guy on the stage, remember my friend that I told you about that? Da, 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 da. And she was like, yeah. And she was like, that's him, that's the guy. He was at the beach that day and I just felt something off about him, was something off about him. And he was like, are you sure? He like, he stopped and he totally dismissed her totally was like, are you sure? You're not 100% sure. Maybe they looked him up and it wasn't him. And all of these, so she was like, get out of my car. And he got out of the car and, and then she went back in and she was like, can I speak to a producer? There's a guy on stage that he's, he's very dangerous. He hurt one of my friends. The guy, the security guard takes her to the back office and has her, he was like, sit down, wait for I'm just going to say John Miller, wait for John Miller to come out. He's the executive producer. He'll talk to you. Right. So then she's sitting there. She's sitting there. She's sitting there minutes, 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 minutes. Then all of a sudden this janitor comes through the door and he's doing, she was like, do you know when John Miller is going to be here? And he was like, John Miller. And she was like, yeah, John Miller, the executive producer of the show. Um, the security guard told me to come down here and wait for him because there's somebody on the show that shouldn't be on the show. She didn't tell him all of that. But she was like, he told me that I should wait here for him. He was like, I'm John Miller. That did the security guard send you back here? He was like, I'm John Miller. Like playing in her face. Then when she went to the cops, they was playing in her face too. That's why it's like when when women are assaulted, women are harmed under this system where the men are the ones doing the harming. And we know that men like they they lock arms, especially when it's a, to mistreat a woman or when it's about mistreating a woman. And this fucking movie showed it. She went to the cops. They were ignoring her. Her boyfriend, he was dismissing her. Nobody was listening to these women. Back to the story. So they're driving down the street after he kidnapped and arred the girl. They come to the four-way stop. They see the truck. He pulls over. He was like, I'm going to use the bathroom. Do you want something? Baby, as soon, let me tell you how fast she was gone. As soon as he, he hit the corner, another guy came around the corner, like he was coming out the bathroom. And when they panned to the car, she was gone running. Bop, 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 bop. She was running, running, running. She ran to like a little diner, called the cops. They picked him up. Then let him out on bail. He killed two more people out on bail. Yes, yes. Then when he tried to appeal, the girl that he, from way back in the day that he stole and took her up to Joshua Tree, art her, and she escaped, she came to the appeal and, and testified. And it was like years later, she was a grown woman. And that was, put the nail in the coffin. That's what the movie said. That put the nail in his coffin. And he died incarcerated, motherfucker. And they said that they got him on seven to eight women, but his victims were over 130. And he was getting the women by taking pictures. Then he would show people the pictures and just, he would, he would like, he, there was one, one picture they showed a woman underwater with like bubbles over her face and people thinking like, oh, these are really nice pictures. No, the girl, that bitch is dead. Yes. One girl, she was trying to move and the movers left her and he was across the street taking pictures, taking pictures, taking pictures. And then he was like, oh, I'll help you. She asked, she actually asked him for help. So then she, she invites him in for a beer and they're sitting down and then he assaults her in her house, in her new apartment. And the girl from the dating game, I'm not going to show, I'm not going to tell you that part because it's like, like a major part, but the girl from the dating game, that shit was crazy. Go watch it. It's called woman of the hour on um, Netflix. So what else is going on? Not much. 
it was, I watched three movies this weekend and I can't remember the other movie that I watched. I really can't remember, but I know it was like about like, I don't know if it was about a serial killer. Oh, I just watched it last night. I don't know how I didn't remember. Um, Sweet Bobby, y'all, it's about a catfish. Girl, how are y'all getting catfished? Nine years. <laughs> Sweet Bobby, Indian girl, an Indian woman. Yes, nine years. And girl, when you find out who the motherfucking catfish is, bitch. Girl, it's like, girl, I'm beating everybody's ass. Girl, she met this guy, mutual friend. Her cousin is dating this guy. It was his brother or cousin. She see him at a club. They start talking online. They start talking online. I, she was so, I think it is, lim, it's limerence. I don't know. It's limerence. It's something else. But she was like literally not paying attention to the the fucking red flags like this is not a person on the other nine they're lying to you girl whoever this person is they're not telling you the truth nine years nine years they even interviewed the person that was being used as the who she thought she was talking to basically they interviewed him yes go watch it sweet bobby it's on netflix too so it's sweet bobby maxine and woman of the hour that's what I watched this weekend. So go watch those those movies. Yeah. So let's go to the blogs, girl, and see what's going on. I sponsored the blogs. Now yes. I sponsored the blogs. Let blog. me tell you something. What's going on? Oh my God, another lawsuit? <sighs> Sean Combs, another lawsuit, y'all. Named in seven new lawsuits. Didn't I say, bitch? I said after after they after they posted that motherfucking video of Cassie running down that hall. I said I hope every single day they release some shit on you, nigga. Every day they waited for the weekend and Monday morning. Here we are. Every day because there's so many people coming out. I guess you gotta. Of course you got not. I guess. You got to vet them. You got to make sure like this is something that we can take on. The lawyers are making this decision. I hope that that lawyer Busby is not like. I, I hope it's not like, I don't know, Tyrone Blackburn. I don't know what his record is. What do y'all call it in the law? Like your wins and losses. I don't know. How do you call it when you win cases? What do you call it? Your record? I don't know what Tyrone Blackburn's record is. And I don't know how, like, there's something about his cases. And I don't know, like, are they being taken care of? Are there any judgments on his cases? Like, what's going on with this Tyrone Blackburn? And then you have this Busby. I don't know what his first name is, but Busby. And he's the one that had the 800 number girl on the behind him saying call. And they've had so many calls. And so he's the one that's been filing these, law, these last few lawsuits. Um, yeah. This one, um, three hours ago, this is from Variety. It says, a new claim, uh, Sean Diddy Combs faces new lawsuits, including that he drugged and art a 13-year-old girl with an unnamed male and female celebrity. A round loss, uh, another round of lawsuits has been filed against Sean Diddy Combs, including the allegation, this is from Variety, the, uh, including the allegation that he drugged and art a 13 year old girl with an unnamed male celebrity and an unnamed female celebrity as they watched um the busby law firm which said on october 1st that it would be presenting 120 more lawsuits against combs and you know it's plausible just like i just told you that serial killer killed they believe that he killed over 130 women yes yes so this is all of this is plausible over a 30 year period. And even before that, this is just while he was in the rep music industry, right? But before that he was wrecking havoc and, and doing all the things. But this it says one of the suits obtained by Variety comes from a Jane Doe who was 13 years old on September 7th, 2000, when she tried to attend an, when she tried to attend the MTV Video Music Award, she could not get into the award show without a ticket and therefore 
approached several, several limousine drivers after the event to see if she could attend an after party. One of the drivers allegedly worked for Combs and drove the plaintiff to the party where she signed a non-disclosure agreement and accepted a drink. After just one drink, the plaintiff alleged that she began to feel woozy and lightheaded and made her way into an empty bedroom to lie down. Soon after Combs allegedly entered a room, let me tell you something. If, if you are ever, this is, I don't remember who gave me this advice, but go to the bathroom and lock the door. Find your way to a, a room that you can lock and lock it because something is happening that you are like, you've been given something, right? When you have realized, oh my, oh my God, I feel like I've only had one drink. I know what my tolerance levels are. Go to the bathroom and lock the door. That's all you, all you got to do. Um, soon after Combs allegedly entered the room with a male and female celebrity. She then alleges that she was awed by the male celebrity as the female celebrity watched before allegedly being awed by Combs as both celebrities watch. The suit goes on to allege that after the assault, the plaintiff, who now lives in Alabama, fell into a deep depression, which, which continues to affect every facet of her life. Combs has repeatedly denied all allegations against him when reached by Variety for comments, Combs attorneys refer to their previous statement. Mr. Combs and his legal team have full confidence in the facts, their legal, their legal defenses, and the integrity of the judicial process. In court, the truth will prevail that Mr. Combs has never sexually assaulted anyone, adult or minor, man or woman. That's so rich. That's crazy as hell. He was denied bail by two separate judges. Combs parties, particularly those following VMAs and white parties in the Hamptons, have been known as the celebrity hotspots. Leading up to his trial, it remains to be seen if any big names will be implicated in the allegations against Combs. That's why they're all quiet. He has, he has them all, every single person that walked into that house, he has them all on tape. All on tape. All on tape. That's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Um, let's go to the Jasmine brand. They have 19 new posts. Let's see what's going on. What? DJ Envy says that Diddy deserves bond and criticizes public for convicting him without hearing all of the evidence. Look at Gia just looking at him like, you pig, you little light-skinned, high, yellow, chicharron-looking motherfucker. Ugh! I don't even want to hear what he has to say. I would be so disgusted if the man that I slept with and had children with was saying anything remotely like that. Oh, Gia, no! Ah, let's hear what he has to say. Oh my God! He's a freaky dick. Like freaky, 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 freaky. freaky. So the, he's also in the middle of the cat. Well, said is that he's a freaky dick. Like freaky, 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 freaky. So the fact that he has a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube just means he just likes to get shit popping, and there's nothing wrong. There's no, nothing illegal about that. I don't like how people convict him before hearing all of the evidence. Right? I didn't like the fact that they didn't give him a, a bond. Did he has three kids without a mom? Right. Mm -hmm. it, uh, Kim Porter passed away. So he has two twins that are 17 years old that don't have their dad right now and probably won't have their dad for the next two years until the trial is over. I feel like he should have got a bond and been able to fight this outside while he did. Harvey Weinstein had a bond. Bill Cosby had a bond. Now, the stories that I'm hearing, like I said, I don't know. Uh, hopefully soon we'll see evidence, but I do think it's uh, I think it's sad that somebody with such a great legacy is is destroyed because of the things that he did. Now, if he did do the things that they said that he did, he should go to jail for a long time. So he shouldn't be out, Envy. What like fucking free, free, is not free, going free. on? You get on my fucking nerves, you weirdo. Oil. A thousand bottle, bottles of infused with GHB baby oil. Are you, are you, yeah, you are stupid. Never mind. You cheat on your wife. You already have been accused of some type of fraud with your, I don't know what kind of punzy scheme you got going on down there. Shout out to Nene Leaks. <laughs> I don't know what kind of punzy scheme you got going on down there with them, with them getting people to 
give what's his name what was his person's name give somebody money and then take the money from here and give the money here and then tell people their investment money is it girl you are girl let me read some of the comments the fact that men with daughters can see that cassie video and still formulate the same bs talking point is above my pay grade nasty because what did i just say what did i just say about the serial killer and how he was able to do all the things because the women run to men because the men's are in position of quote protection and so you run to the men and they're just like well, what does she have on? What were you doing there? And da, da 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 And they can have daughters. They can have all daughters, all daughters, and still have that same opinion. They don't see the humanity in you as a woman. They don't. They don't. He was just a freaky nigga. No, my nigga. People are freaky, yes. But no, we're not committing crimes while we're freaky, right? We're not doing all the old, those things. You don't have to drug people in order to have a, a good time with them. It's just, it's, it's, it's so it's disgusting there's no way envy would have this energy if that was his daughter on video getting her face stomped by a man cassie's tape was enough evidence for me diddy must have bent him over he's always been sassy just say you was at the freak offs fam that lace baby oil wasn't evidence the hallway video wasn't evidence i agree y'all doing the feds work for them y'all don't even have all the facts but y'all so sure of of that y'all are right girl what diddy is being punished for sexual fantasies i don't i definitely don't agree with them but there's nothing else proven that he did wrong he should get bail if they lock diddy up they need to lock almost every celebrity who was at them who had these same types of acts all these so-called victims are willing participants and we're looking for a come up during the time and want a payday now since he's already down including cassie of course this is a black man i'm telling you girl i would post these things and i like when i tell you they're your brothers they're your nephews you could be like no they not no they not I got good men around me ask the women that they spend time with who they spend time with ask them how great they are your brothers your fathers, your uncles, your nephews, your cousins, your friends, your co-workers. Yes. Post this shit so they can come out of the woodwork because they're so arrogant. They will show who they are. They will come out and be like, yeah, he's just a freaky ass nigga. They was all willing participants. That is why sex is used as a weapon because you can easily blur the lines and say someone was a willing participant, right? This is the reason why it was just a law that men, that married men could not RAPE their wives. Meaning that because they were married, somehow her body, he was allowed to have access to her body with or without her permission. Diddy was caught tampering with witnesses. If he do, if he would do it with one witness, he could do it to many, if not all. That's why he has no bond. We saw him beat the crap out of Cassie. What the hell are you talking about? All victims want to protect their abusers. People got to know that a lot of this stuff being put out, Diddy, is propaganda. The Dems are mad because he stopped supporting the Dems. The Dems? I just, girl, stop. Like your dim-witted comment I, I i the reason why i read the comments is so that you can get a snapshot of the pulse right of what people are saying and when you hear what people are saying i'm i'm glad that there is a sprinkle of people in here saying yes he didn't get bombed because of this but then the other people that are in the mix that's what i'm saying that's why conversations sharing posts and stuff like that so you can see how people think and you would be fucking surprised. How embarrassing. Rosie O'Donnell speaks out following daughter's arrest for drug possession and child neglect. Sadly, this is not new. 
Rosie is speaking out after her daughter, Chelsea O'Donnell, was arrested on multiple felony charges, including drug possession and child neglect. Taking to Instagram on October 19th, Rosie shared a family update saying, Chelsea is in the news today. This is a photo from a better time. Here is the family comment. Sadly, this is not new for our family. Chelsea has struggled with drug addiction for a decade. We are all hopeful she will find her way out of this deadly disease. Chelsea, 27, was arrested on October 14th, charged with several counts, including possession of methamphetamine, drug paraphernalia, and resisting an officer. The, this follows an earlier charge in September for maintaining a drug trafficking place, child neglect, and domestic abuse. Oh, you're, you, you was the trap house. I wonder, I, girl, I wonder what her boyfriend looks like. You was the trap house? Let me read some of the comments. Nobody, I repeat, nobody is immune to this. This happens to the richest and the most poor people around the country. All you can do is keep your children prayed up and try and guide them as much as possible. For all we know, she probably did everything to help her daughter. Having a family member on drugs is tough. When kids become adults, they make, they make their own decisions. Is that baby mixed? A decade of struggle, yet you allowed your grandchild to stay in her care. I get you allowing the adult to seek help, but the meantime, why not remove the child from the home? Her daughter is 27 with a five-year-old, a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and an 11-month-old. Who's to say she didn't do everything in her power to help her daughter and her grandkids? What's stopping her daughter from taking her kids and never letting her speak nor see them again? The girl grew up with money and I'm sure she isn't broke. By the time she caught wind her mother was trying to take her kids, she would probably have gone faster and the grandmother could then the grandmother could petition the courts. I had a job where this was very common, especially with parents with substance abuse. What did her dad say? Somebody said she's adopted. What's her, what's the point? Or what? I'd definitely do everything to help my daughter, but letting my grandchild get neglected, hell no. I take her voluntarily or involuntarily. Oh, and so then you'd go to jail for kidnapping. That's smart. I just want to just like, <laughs> I just want to fall down. We got to go. Hopefully Rosie O'Donnell could get her daughter. I don't know. She, she was at the trap house. They'll take her kids. I'm sure if her kids, if they're threatened, they're, like their custody is threatened or their welfare is threatened, that she would be the next logical person. Like, let me take them to my mother's house. But I, it said one child here. Child neglect. People think it's one child, but she has four children. Apparently, this is what this person in the comments saying. I don't know nothing about Rosie O'Donnell. I don't know nothing about her daughter, but she has a mug shot here and the drugs are, I don't know. The drugs are a mess. People are addicted. Y'all people get addicted. They really do. And it's so, and it's really easy to get addicted because your body will adapt to the chemical. It'd be like, Oh, this is cool in the body. This is cool. While also simultaneously killing you at the same time it's a it's a wild thing it's like you're having these moments where you're high but ultimately you can die so i mean i guess if you want to die high maybe i guess i don't know i don't know this is from 2017 um rosie o'donnell's estranged daughter chelsea is pregnant says her mom will not be in the child's life Here's something missing, missing person, Rosie O'Donnell's teen daughter missing. This was from 2015. I, I just, I just did um hashtag her name on Instagram. Chelsea O'Donnell 17 was last seen Oct August 11. Police in Nyack, New York have been searching the area since August 16th. And this was August 18, 2015. Here are her daughters here. And here, this is when, I guess, when they were looking for her. This 
some man it's some it's some i wonder what this man looks like some probably some pwt that's sad i mean there's nothing you can do hopefully she gets you know, i'm sure she's tried to help her she has the resources to be like let me put you in a rehab or whatever get you some help but um yeah i don't know that's really sad it's really sad unfortunately um there's nothing that you can do oh rick ross's new girlfriend you're a dummy you're a fool you're an idiot you're slow you're delayed something is not right you're not a bad bitch you're not you're weak anybody who would partner with a man like rick ross after all of this stuff for what kissing him in the mouth for what what are you doing that for you're a businesswoman you're already you have already excelled you don't need him for nothing why would you be doing anything with rick ross why she's a beautiful girl you're not smart y'all be so great at business a business owner i'm a bad bitch i'm a business owner i got all my teeth girl what does that mean you still clinking teeth with rick ross y'all be so fucking like i said on twitter y'all be so fucking qualified so qualified and then you get with this nigga and then your whole fucking social stock just plummets plummets these niggas are not the niggas that you think they are. Your social credit score does not rise with Rick Ross. It doesn't. It plummets. There's one thing I said. What did I say last week? Shout out to the money. What, what do I say? What do I say? Don't look stupid over no dude. You walking in this, you know Rick Ross's history. This is what I'm talking about. You a bad bitch and all this other stuff and you got businesses and this and this, and this but then you partner with somebody like that why do you partner with somebody like that like that's not smart that's less than smart so all of your qualifications that you have they're null and void when you when you choose and make this type of business decision gross rick ross goes public with new girlfriend justice williams everything we need to know about the model and beauty entrepreneur and then you kissing him in the mouth? I, w I couldn't do that. <laughs> I couldn't have pancake titties in my, no, not in my review. Rick Ross couldn't pay me to go public. Nah, big dog, I'm taking my L in private when it's done, right. I feel like Rick Ross sells his boyfriend status to entrepreneurs to launch their business. A man who says you, he, he will put a drug in somebody's drink and she won't even know it. A man whose name is scuttlebutt around these parties that when he hanging around in Miami with Diddy. That's not a good business decision. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Is that the business that you're going to be, you're going to partner? You're gonna go into partnership with Rick Ross? Big Lemon Pepper? Girl, that's not smart to me. That's not smart to me. It is not smart to me and you're not a bad bitch. Right, somebody said get tested. Rick Ross really gay. That's why he can't he can't keep a woman for more than 60 days. It's giving community peen. We don't care. How old is she? She's beautiful young lady, but it's high key disgusting how he refuses to date women his age. I swear some of these older men are gross. That man love a woman with a pixie cut, don't he? I love how they all want to be so educated, so better than the last. But sis, you are giving Tia Kemp's ex a chance, especially with all these allegations. Thank you. You look stupid and you lucky I can't leave a comment. Yeah, I think tomorrow is my day that I can. I've, I've been on a seven day suspension from leaving comments. That's why y'all ain't seen me in the comments. Yeah. You're not smart. You're dumb. Just like I said on Twitter, I'm gonna read you my tweets from over the weekend. That's not cute to me. It's not a flex. It's not a flex at all. I said, why the fuck are you an entrepreneur dating Rick Ross? Mr. You own E and no, you're lame. I don't care how bad you think you are. Dating pancake that is not the move. 
Y'all be qualified as fuck, then turn into the letter L when you choose your so-called man. Then y'all be mad when you find out he takes dick, not, not listening to the Yelp reviews. You're not a bad bitch and choose Rick Ross. Those two don't go together. Sorry, Buki. How do you look at yourself in the mirror, then look behind you and see Rick Ross? Mm. Tired ass, poor ass, raggedy ass, slow ass Ooh. niggas. Mm. Nasty, musty, nasty work. Anyways, I gotta go now. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. We're gonna come back with another video.